gentle scoundrels he created in his immortal story, The Man Who Would Be King. The time, sometime before yesterday. The place, the north of India. The man who tells the story, Rudyard Kipling. One Saturday night, it was my unpleasant duty to put the paper at the bed alone. It was a pitchy black night, as frightening as night can be in India in June. It was very still, save for the ticking of the clock above my desk, which seemed to shatter the black heat of the night as the hand crept toward 3 a.m. And then from the passage outside my door, I heard voices. And it will stay here. Open the door. Who's there? Who are you? He don't remember us, Dan. <laughs> that he don't. How could he forget having us turn back at the Judge Paul border? Told the authorities we was impersonating newspaper reporters, he did. Wait. That flaming red beard and that bald head. Why, for your Daniel Rabbit and Peachy Carnahan. The same. Well, what do you want? If it's money, I haven't any. If it's a fight, it's simply too beastly hot. You can rest yourself easy, sir, because we've come out into the north except some information. We've been all over this country, and we've concluded that India isn't big enough for such a dungeon. Oh, so we're going away to be kings. Kings in our own divine right. What? I, we shall be kings. We've signed a solemn contract. Each day up the other, and neither of us will take a look at liquor or women until we become kings. What? I've never heard of such a fantastic idea. But what is it you want of me? No, I have to look at such maps of Kafiristan as you might have about. Maps of Kafiristan? That's where we decided to go. But don't you realize that not one single Englishman has ever gone into the Kafiristan mountains and lived to come out again? If you're really mad enough to go there, you're a good deal more likely to become dead men than kings. We shall see. Anyway, I don't believe you have the slightest intention of traveling a mile outside of Delhi. Then you shall come down to the Sarai Mountain.
mình không có khó lớp nữa Ôi đường đến với Lê Ninh là đường về từ ngữ trước Tuyết mắt tư ra xa rụ trắng lầm Trong tuyết trắng như đồng nhiều nước mắt Lê Ninh mắt rồi những bác chẳng dừng nghe trọn vẹn bài thơ lăng bác của nhà sản xuất qua sự thể hiện của nghệ sĩ Kim Cúc. Why be you sitting here in 
the dark. I've been thinking. A man has to stop and think sometimes. Are there anything special about them? Look at them, Peach. Look at their blinking campfires are gleaming in the dark like the jewels in a crown. My, Daniel. You've done a fine job for sure. All 23 villages you joined together as one. Tis the army you trained to be thanked for it. 2,000 men with a fair knowledge of bearing arms. Some's a bit green at it, Jeff. They're ours now. Every man, jack, woman, and child. We own a body and soul. Aye, we're kings now, Daniel. Not proper kings.